is model number three of the Barbie looks from the Barbie signature line. And this one is supposed to look like a ambiguously Asian girl. She is, in my collection, I'm making her an Inuit girl. And Inuits are just some indigenous tribes of people. And here in America, they're pretty well known for living in Alaska, but they're also in Siberia, Greenland, and some other places around the world other than just Alaska. So they're pretty widespread. The Inuit culture I thought was kind of interesting and we really don't hear too much about them in the mainstream. So I decided I would represent them with this doll and I ended up naming her Yura Sakuri and she is really pretty. I love that this doll does not have a goofy smile on her face. I don't mean just with like her teeth showing because none of the dolls in this line have their teeth showing. Thank you, Bill Greening. Um, but a lot of times our Barbies that have the closed mouth, they will make the dolls with a very obvious smile in the mouth so that they look happy and friendly, right? Kind of like this one. See what I'm talking about? There's like a built-in smile in the way that the lips are sculpted, even though she's not smiling with her teeth showing. So I noticed that they did not do that with this doll. And that's a little refreshing. I like that they gave her kind of a serious look. Something about these dolls that it reminds me of a little bit. They kind of remind me of the vibe that we get when we look at the Integrity Toys dolls. And they just look very like posh, grown up, serious, you know, not like, oh yay, I'm so happy to take a selfie. Like, like kind of like the young people do these days. <laughs> if you look at um, posts of the younger people on Instagram. But yeah, so these dolls don't look like that. They don't look like teeny boppers. They look like grown-ups. And even this one who is very short because she is a petite body type, the shortest of all of the girls' body types available, she still looks like a grown-up. She does not look like a little teenage girl who's trying to be grown. So I really like that. I kind of have a better appreciation for her hairstyle now because I'm realizing that this hairstyle helps to make her look a little more grown. And I'm still interested in seeing what she would look like with longer hair. I think I saw somebody on Instagram who had given her a reroute and they did long hair for her. And I thought it turned out okay. And I was asking Adonis' opinion on it and he was like, to be honest, her face is pretty enough that she could literally have any hairstyle and it's all gonna look good on her because she just has a really good face. So I was like, okay, I can see where you're coming from with that. I think the hands are so cute. The only other petite doll that I have is a totally different skin tone, which is the BMR 1959 doll who I call Bunny. And she had the big purple space buns. So she's the only petite that I have other than this one but now she's got somebody who she can hang out with in some pictures because they're the same height. She is a new sculpt. They're calling this sculpt Kit, K-I-T. Her eye color is like a green and brown kind of mixed together sort of color. And she's got a very, very, very subtle pink lip. So her outfit is two pieces, not including her shoes. Her shirt has a bit of this like mesh thing going on here that's see-through in the white and then she's got the black covering it in the back you'll see that she has velcro closure for her top but there is no closure for her skirt i really like these shoes and then the front part here that's covering her toes has a little bit of texture molded into them so that's a little interesting so here's how the shoe looks off of her feet i really want to say that these shoes have a left and a right foot to me, they look like they do, although it's extremely, extremely subtle. But I think all of the dolls in this line, all the female dolls anyway, I think all of them have shoes that are supposed to be meant for individual feet and they are not uh, interchangeable, which makes them more realistic to me. So I have no problem with that. And then of course she comes with this teeny tiny little stand. And if you don't like this part, sticking out of the sides of the doll when they're dressed, you can actually just remove it and stick the stick up inside the doll's shirt. And then she'll just be leaning up against it so that you cannot see 
any of the stand from the front. And it's a more seamless look for your doll. So if you have broken stands or if you just don't like the way that it looks, you can definitely purposefully remove that part so you can get a better better look. Don't fret because Mattel does it too. I've seen it on their you know promo shots. They be removing that part and they'll just stick it up the side of the doll's clothes and take the pictures that way. So bruh, it's all right. It's not ghetto, okay? All right. Keep in mind this doll does have tons of gel in her hair, just molding it down and she's got flocking all the way around. I think her hair is cut in such a way so that it has to sit on this side like this because it's not even on each side, but I really honestly don't know for sure because I have to remove this gel to really get a good look. But this part here is rooted in. All right, so we're gonna actually give her an outfit change. I'm gonna put her into one of the other girl's outfits to see if it works for her. And we'll be back to see how she looks in a different outfit. And I still have not removed the gel from her hair yet. I just wanna leave it alone for a minute. So I figure out how I wanna style her hair. But I did give her some earrings and I put her into the model number one's outfit, including the shoes. Now, like I said, her feet are a little bit more narrow and the shoes are kind of big for her, but it's not too big where it's gonna wobble on her foot, like up here at the ankle area, it's pretty snug. The shoes aren't gonna be dangling off of her feet type of a deal. Of course, everything fit just fine. And this thing had Velcro on the top and the bottom, so she was able to get into it no problems. I think it looks good on her. Okay, so thanks so much for tuning into this video. I'll have other videos showing each of these dolls as well. So if you want to see their details, make sure that you're going and looking at them. They should be all together in a playlist as well if you want to play them back to back or binge watch. I'll talk to you later. My name's Gypsy. You're watching Broken Dolly TV. And I really hope you guys go and have yourselves a dolly day. You don't get it, you don't get it, you don't get it.